P is an approach not a product. English for specific purposes ESP is an approach to English language teaching that focuses on meeting the specific language needs of learners in particular professional or academic contexts. Unlike general English language teaching, which aims to develop overall language proficiency, ESP is designed to provide learners with the language skills and knowledge they need to communicate effectively in their specific field of study or work. ESP is characterized by its learner-centeredness, relevance, and authenticity, and it is widely used in a variety of settings, such as business, medicine, engineering, aviation, and academic research. ESP is an approach, not a product, because it emphasizes the process of teaching and learning English in a specialized context, rather than providing a standardized set of materials or curricula. The key features of ESP include Needs Analysis ESP starts with identifying the specific language needs of the learners based on their field of study or work. This involves conducting a thorough needs analysis, which may include interviews, surveys, and analysis of authentic language use in the target context. The needs analysis helps the ESP teacher to understand the learner's language requirements, their communicative tasks, and the language skills and knowledge they need to develop. Contextualized content. ESP materials and activities are designed to be relevant to the learner's professional or academic context. The content is selected and developed based on the specific language functions, vocabulary, and grammar that are relevant to the learner's field of study or work. Authentic materials, such as texts, audio recordings, and videos, are used to expose learners to real-world language use in their field, allowing them to develop the skills needed to communicate effectively in that context. Learner-centeredness. ESP recognizes that learners come with their own unique needs, goals, and motivations. Therefore, ESP instruction is learner-centered, focusing on the individual needs and interests of the learners. The instruction is tailored to the learner's proficiency level, learning style, and specific language needs, allowing them to make meaningful connections between the language input and their own professional or academic context. Language Skills and Strategies ESP focuses on developing the specific language skills and strategies that are required for effective communication in the learner's field of study or work. These may include skills such as reading academic texts, writing research papers, giving presentations, participating in meetings, and using domain-specific vocabulary. ESP instruction also emphasizes the use of appropriate communication strategies, such as negotiation, persuasion, and clarification, which are essential for effective communication in professional or academic settings. Authentic assessment. ESP assessment is designed to reflect the real-world language tasks that learners will encounter in their field of study or work. Authentic assessment tasks, such as writing reports, delivering presentations, or participating in simulations, are used to evaluate learners' language proficiency and their ability to use language in a professional or academic context. Assessment results are used to provide feedback to learners, identify areas for improvement, and inform future instruction. Flexibility. ESP is flexible and adaptable to the changing needs of learners and the demands of their field of study or work. ESP instruction can be delivered in various formats, such as face-to-face -face classes, online courses, or blended learning, depending on the learner's preferences and the availability of resources. ESP teachers need to constantly update their knowledge of the learner's field of study or work and incorporate new language skills and content into their instruction to keep it relevant and effective. In conclusion, ESP is an approach to English language teaching that focuses on meeting the specific language needs of learners in particular professional or academic contexts. It is an approach, not a product, as it emphasizes the process of teaching and learning English in a specialized context, rather than providing standardized materials or curricula. ESP is characterized by its learner-centeredness, relevance, and authenticity, and it involves conducting a needs analysis.